Hey guys, welcome back to Calibrate Tools and today we're going to talk about brushless motors. That's right, motors without brushes. But before we do that, how does a regular motor work anyway? Stay tuned. When you walk down the aisle of a hardware store and you see the word brushless on the power tools or motorized equipment, you may be clueless as to what that means. Well, brushless simply describes the motor inside the device, meaning that it doesn't have brushes that transmit electrical power to the motor like a conventional brushed motor does. In a brushed motor, electrical force is transmitted from a power source like a battery or wall outlet to the motor via brushes, and that would be the white squares in this animation. The brushes connect to what's called a commutator. Yeah, that's the yellow cylindrical part. The commutator connects to the copper wire or coils that form the rotor or armature. When electricity energizes these coils, a magnetic field is created in the coils. The positive and negative polarity in the coils interact with the magnetic field of the stator, which are the stationary magnets surrounding the coils. The attraction and repulsion of the magnetic polarities of the rotor and the stator cause the rotor to spin or rotate. In a brushless motor, the brushes are absent and electrical force is transmitted to stationary coils or windings in a timed sequence by means of a device called a controller so that only certain coils are energized out of alignment with permanent magnets that surround or are surrounded by the coils. This deliberate misalignment of magnetic fields forces the magnets to chase the magnetic field of the coils, which are always a step ahead in a sort of horse chasing a carrot effect. When the permanent magnets rotate inside the coils, that's called an in-runner brushless motor. When the permanent magnets rotate outside the coils, that's called an outrunner brushless motor. So we see in a brushless motor, it's the magnets that rotate, not the coils. Okay, so why would someone go brushless over brushed? What are some of the disadvantages of a conventional brushed motor? For one, there is this thing called friction. In a brushed motor, the brushes, though they're made of carbon, a very durable material, they're still going to wear out over time as they're in constant contact with the spinning commutator, they will be diminished because of friction, no doubt about it. Aside from having to replace the brushes, you also have sparking that occurs from this friction. Sparks can be very dangerous in certain environments. Also by definition, friction will cause a moving object, in this case, a spinning commutator in a motor to spin slower than if it didn't have resistance or friction. So not only is it slower to start because of friction, it also produces another unfortunate byproduct which is heat and noise. Hmm, all of these factors don't look good as far as the lifespan of a brushed motor. I mean, it's definitely more maintenance. Okay, so all the negative factors we just talked about in brushed motors are pretty much non-existent in a brushless motor. But to be fair, both brushed and brushless motors have their own advantages. Let's talk about them. Now with a brushed motor, they're not as costly. You can rebuild them for a longer life. They're great for certain extreme operating environments and you don't need a controller for fixed speed. With a brushless motor, they're low maintenance compared to a brushed motor because they don't have brushes. Their efficiency and power to size ratio is good, which means they're generally smaller than a brushed motor or device, but they generate more power. They generate less heat and noise, and they have a higher speed range. Okay, guys, now that we've educated ourselves on brushed and brushless motors, I, uh, I have two drills here. I have a brushless on the left, and I have a brushed on the right. And as you can see, I fully charged them. Actually, I left them overnight to fully charge so we can have a level playing field here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, attach the battery packs. We're going to go in there. And we're gonna, you know, compare the two and see what we find. So come on, guys. Okay, guys, now they say the brushless is supposed to be less noisier than the brushed. Well, let's find out. Brushed, 
Rushless. I don't know about that. Second test is power. So I have some construction screws right here and we're gonna put one in each drill and we're gonna see who's the winner. Brushed. Brushless. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys decide in the comment section which one you thought was the most quiet or which one you thought had the most power. And if you guys didn't notice, look at the one on the left, that's the brush drill. And the one on the right is the brushless drill. That's a pretty significant size difference. And that's the size to power ratio we were talking about in the brushless drill. BLDC motors, BL motors, electronically commutated motors, synchronous DC motors. Those are all names for brushless motors. And DC simply means that they're powered by direct current. Oddly enough, brushless motors are actually hybrids of alternating current motors, which are AC motors, and DC motors, direct current motors. But we'll get into that in another video. Though they haven't fully replaced brushed motors, brushless motors are pretty much becoming the standard now. You'll find them in all industries, from manufacturing to computing. You'll find them in household appliances, and automobiles, and so on. Hey guys, if you learned something today about brushless motors and brush motors, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can get more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Brushed. Now let's try that again. Brushed. Brushless. Brushed. Brushless. Which one is... Is the brushless quieter or not?